On the front lines of the Boko Haram insurgency, banditry and other internal security challenges are thousands of troops stationed far from their homes. The military personnel bear the brunt of the havoc wrecked by jihadists, bandits, kidnappers and other criminal gangs. Days roll into weeks, weeks roll into months, and months roll into years. Violent officers are wounded and soon pay the ultimate price death. <laughs> Personnel from the Nigerian Army, Navy, Air Force, Nigerian Legion, paramilitary agents alongside top government officials, dignitaries, members of the diplomatic corps, widows of fallen heroes and invited guests gather at the National Cenotaph on Wednesday, 15th January for the 2020 Armed Forces Remembrance Day celebration in Abuja, the nation's capital. The arrival of President Mohamed Buhari kick-started the event, which began with the late post followed by one-minute silence. This was followed by the artillery gun salute, which signified the commencement of the wreath lane led by President Buhari, Vice President Yemi Ushibaju and other dignitaries. President Buhari then released a flock of white pigeons out of their cage, depicting peace and unity. Meet Adetunji Olubumi, a widow whose husband died in the line of duty on the 18th of April 2016. She recounts her difficulties since the demise of her husband. The army has been sponsored by children. They are being paying their school fees. But the challenges that I'm facing now is in the issue of the group life assurance. Since then, four years now, they have never paid me the group life assurance that they're supposed to pay. Even many of the widows, many of the widows are there. We are suffering because of this uh, group life assurance that they're supposed to pay us. They have never paid us since then. So that is why we are begging the Nigeria Army, please, to remember us for this Army Remembrance Day so that they will pay us and we have something to start our business with. The Defence Headquarters also reiterated its commitment to the plight of the families of the departed troops. I just told you about the DIPOA um, and um, Defence Headquarters partnership in providing succor in terms of provision of food and um, other provisions for widows of fallen heroes and their families, which was part of this um, entire uh, event. And it, culminated, it culminated into this um, grand finale, which is the laying of wreath at the National Arcade to um, honor the fallen heroes and appreciate members of the armed forces and security agencies. Convener of one of the non-governmental organizations had this to say. I think the missing gap is after today's form fair, um, everything is forgotten and everybody goes home. I think it's important as a country for us to think of programs that we can use to develop, especially the military widows and the veterans, the old retired uh, soldiers especially. The ceremonial activities for the 2020 Armed Forces Remembrance Day may have ended, but the message is to awaken the consciousness of Nigerians about the sacrifices of those who lost their lives, the serving troops who are also at the front lines to defend the territorial integrity of the nation. From the National Arcade in Abuja, Oluwatobi Enitson, reporting for Roots TV, Nigeria.